Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter. In this video, I want to show you guys off about the Mounster Hunters. Unfortunately, I think that a lot of players overlook this system thinking that it's exclusive to only cats. But it's not. You can get some really awesome items and it also helps earlier on in the game when you're trying to get materials. By default, you'll have the low rank, you'll have the first four unlocked to get the coast to get to village 4 or HR3 and unlock the volcano by getting to village 5 or HR4. Now if you notice, each one of these has a list of different items and monsters you can get. Take notice though of that little colored dot on the bottom right of the icon. What this means is that if you send off a cat with the corresponding icon color, it'll bring back double the items. So for example, we have the Zenogre here, which is a yellow bubble. If we use Charisma Cats, which we'll do two of them here, they'll bring back double the amount of items of Zenogre parts than any other cat will. So let's go ahead and try it out and see what happens. It actually ends up like a mini game. So it's a bunch of little bubbles that you shoot off and you try to get your cats inside the bubble. The higher the tension of your cat, which means that they've had time to rest, the bigger their bubble is going to be. And the color is always decided by the type of the palico, so you can't change that. So if you notice, I got a really horrible grouping here. So what you can do is if you really have a monster or an item that you really want to do, you can just quit the game and go back. It won't change the setup at all. Okay, through the magic of editing, here we are on attempt number two. This one just barely got in there. There we go, there's a charisma cat. And if you have a cat that overlaps two different bubbles, you'll get items for both of the zones. So the bigger the bubble, which is the higher the tension, the more likely you are to get a lot more items than normal. So definitely try to use cats that have high tension. Now the Monster Hunters only take one quest to complete, much unlike Monster Hunter 4U, which was a little bit longer. So as you're going through Village or any other quest, you can just keep going back and sending them off in between hunts. Okay, we are now back from the quest. I definitely prefer to use room service because it's closer than going all the way over to the Palico Arena. Let's see what we got. Now, if you notice, there's a sparkle on the top two cats. What that means is that they were a corresponding color and thus are going to bring back double the items. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we got. You're going to get a full item of a bunch of fun scraps for your cats and some items. Some things for your kinsex if you play Insight Glaive, which is nice. And here we go, we have some Zenogar scraps, we have two and two, so four of them, so that's enough to make an entire full set of Zenogar armor for your cat, which is awesome if they're your Palico, they'll definitely perform better against monsters that do thunder. We also get normal items, such as shock fur and shells, so you can see how the Meowster Hunters is actually really helpful, even if you don't play as a cat. Due to the way that the coloring system works, it's definitely decided what type of item that you can get a double bonus for, depending on your type of Palico. Yellow, which is Charisma, is for Honey. Red, which is Nuts and Seeds, is for Fighter Cats. Blue, which is Fish, is for Guard Cats. Green, which is Herbs, is for Heal Cats. Orange, which is Mushrooms, is for Bomber Cats. Purple, which is for Bugs, is for Assist Cats. And finally, the light blue color is for Bones and Monster Bones, and that is for Collect Cats. And of course, all the large monsters have a wide variety of colors as well. So just go and download all the DLC cats and make sure you hire them all. And I think you'll have a pretty good selection. Okay, back to the Monster Hunters. There are two types of special maps. There is rare and there is warning. We're going to go ahead and cover the rare one first. What this means is that there's a hidden circle somewhere in the mini game that will give you a special item exclusive to Monster Hunters. So we're going to go ahead and just pick some cats here, just some random ones. And what you want to do first is really just shoot around and look for the circle. That's what I do, and I'd highly recommend it. So let's go ahead and start it here. And I'm just going to go sort of for like an angle and go high velocity so I can get the ball to fly around. Nope, couldn't find it, so change my direction. There it is. So it's down there in the bottom part of the herb. So now that I know exactly where the rare thing is and I want to get those rare items, I'm just going to go ahead and reset my game and do it again so I can group them in. Okay, I actually screwed up and saved my game so this is a different map, um, but I do know the location so I know exactly where to group them. Of course I blow the first shot because <laughs> why not? Um, and here we go, now I've got my grouping down, I know the velocity and I know the angle. So boom, we've got three cats in the rare circle. So let's go ahead and cycle a quest and find out what we got. If you have busted through your HR cap, you can buy Kilby Horns. 
Then Kelby Horns, of course, you can use on the Village 1 quest down here called Horns of Plenty to just go ahead and recycle. Unfortunately, the Gathering Tours, which are always available and really easy to clear, do not count as a full quest, so therefore the Meowster Hunters won't be doing anything. Okay, now that we've recycled or cleared a quest, let's go back to Meowster Hunters and find out what that rare thing got us. Woohoo! So I got three cats who got the rare one, which is the question mark. Go ahead and gather my other stuff here. Okay, so the item that we got for this one is the Broken Statue. Again, these are exclusive items, so they unlock a sort of variety of different weapons and armor, and also cat stuff that you can make that require these things. Okay, as you progress to the game and you go through HR5 and HR6, you will unlock the high rank versions of the Meowster Hunter maps. Here's a list that I made that covers all the different rare items that you can get for both low rank and high rank. Now most of the items are pretty neat, the cat gear is definitely awesome, but the one that I definitely think is a must make is the one that was in my top 5 light bow guns which I call the bling can and I believe it's called the lost musket. It uses the opulent artifact and I believe perhaps the extravagant artifacts as well. So definitely look for the coast if you see a rare sign there, definitely try to grab those. Okay, the second and final type of special map is when it says warning. This means that there's also another hidden area, but instead of being an item, this is going to be a rare monster. We have Devil Joe, Kirin, Camellios, Rajang, Teostra, and Kushara Daora. So go ahead and pick your cats. Now, the maps for these ones are monsters, so they do have a color, but you won't know what they are until you try it once. So if you really care about it, you can go ahead and reset. If not, you can just do it. So let's go ahead and search for it here. We're just going to blow off really fast. There it is. It's right there in the blue. So we're going to adjust and shoot our cats up there. Totally whiffed. To I think I got in on that one. And okay, at least I got one of them in. That was pretty horrible, so I'm going to go and reset and try again. And here we are back with the power of editing. Now that I know exactly where the warning monster is, I know exactly where to throw my cats. <laughs> Good grouping, don't you think? I swear, I did it my first try, I swear. <laughs> okay, now here we are back to claim my rewards, and as you can see, that it's going to be pretty darn good. Now, the monsters also have a color that corresponds with them, so if you are really, really bad against, let's say, Camellios, and you really want to farm it for parts using Monster Hunters, make sure that if you have a map with it, that you use Assist Cats, as they'll get double parts. So let's see, we got a scrap, two scraps, not bad. We got a hide, another hide, some more scraps, and even a webbing as well. Again, these would all be double parts if you had used uh, assist cats. Okay, and that pretty much covers Meowster Hunters. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Definitely use it um, if you're in village and even if you don't play as a cat. Just having your two palicos geared out in awesome gear will definitely make hunts go faster and more fun. And I definitely think that some of the items that you can get from those rare items are pretty cool as well. Please like the video if you liked it. Please let us know down in comments if you have any other advice from Meowster Hunters. And subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, happy hunting. So let's go ahead and see what we got. A said, what am I, like playing Final Fantasy X? Here's a list that I've made that... This is what happens when you don't script it. There we go, and I got in. So we got two cats, so it's not the greatest, but you know what? We're going to go ahead and run with this anyways. Or we're not. This is <laughs> I completely forgot what I did.